Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. This year we saw the earliest spring for 128 years, although I'm not talking about the UK's weather. I'm talking about the spring equinox, which was just after 3 a.m. on the 20th of March. The time and date vary each year depending on leap years. This year it was the earliest for 128 years. No consequences for the UK's weather, which is about to turn colder. This is the temperature difference compared with the March minimum average. Friday night's temperatures will be well below average for the time of year. But the cause of that is colder weather coming in from the northwest. Ahead of that colder weather, actually, for many, Thursday will be a mild day, especially for southern and southeastern parts of the UK. Towards the northwest, it turns unsettled, wet and windy as a weather front moves through. Once that moves through, we're into this colder and more showery airflow for Friday and throughout much of the weekend as well. It's going to feel colder and there'll be a mixture of sunny spells and showers. So let's put a bit of detail on that. And Thursday starts off dry across much of England and Wales. A few drizzles and drabs of rain across northern England. But really, it's Scotland and Northern Ireland where we see the wet and windy weather moving through some persistent and heavy rain at times, especially for Western Scotland and Northern Ireland. The wind's picking up as well. But for the southern half of the UK, actually, that front stays clear until the end of the day. And so some sunny spells and in any sunny spells out of the breeze, it's going to feel pleasant enough. 15, 16, 17 Celsius possible. Feeling colder as we end Thursday towards the northwest and that fresher air arrives from the west northwest. The front moves south, some persistent rain overnight for northern England into the Midlands, Wales and the southwest, just about avoiding the southeast through the hours of darkness and the front tends to peter out, so not a great deal of rain on it by the time we start off Friday. But it does tend to keep those temperatures a little higher across southern parts whilst we're back into the colder air further north. Blustery showers pushing into Scotland and Northern Ireland for Friday. And then fast forward a few hours into Friday afternoon and here it looks with that showery airflow across much of the UK. Some heavy downpours for Scotland, Northern England and Northern Ireland in particular. A cold wind blowing with those showers falling as snow above four, five hundred metres for the Scottish mountains. But those showers not really reaching much of the Midlands, East Anglia, the south and southeast. Although the rain could just about linger there throughout much of the day in the far southeast. A bit of uncertainty at the timing of the clearance of that. You'll notice the temperatures are certainly down across southern parts of the UK and feeling cold in the north as well. However, we're only back to close to average, perhaps a degree or two below in places. I'd say central and northern Scotland, most prone to significantly below average temperatures on Friday. But otherwise, we're into this colour here compared with the March average max, so within about three degrees or so. Contrast that with Friday night's temperatures, which will be significantly below average. And these are the actual values expected uh, in main urban centres, one or two Celsius generally. But in rural spots, out of the breeze with clear spells, certainly a frost expected for the start of Saturday. So be aware of that if you are a keen gardener. Now into that showery airflow for much of the weekend. Low pressure situated to the north of the UK, bringing some strong winds, perhaps gales for a time before it moves into the North Sea. And by the start of Sunday, still some showers in the east clearing before the next area of rain moves in from the west. But in between, this brief ridge of high pressure bringing a very, very subtle, settled spell for a time on Sunday. Saturday isn't going to be settled. It's going to be blustery. It's going to feel cold in that wind, 11 Celsius in the south, 6 to 8 in the north. And those showers will be lively, potential for rumbles of thunder, some hail as well. They'll be moving through swiftly because of the breeze. Some brighter spells in between, some rainbows to enjoy. And those showers falling as snow once again over the Scottish mountains. But Nothing untoward about that uh, for the time of year. The shower is more confined to eastern parts of the UK for Sunday. Again, feeling cold, particularly along that North Sea coast. Further south and southwest, actually the temperatures are a degree or two up because we're going to start to see the winds changing southwesterlies. However, those winds begin to bring thicker cloud and outbreaks of rain in by the end of the day across parts of Cornwall, a sign of what's to come for Monday and Tuesday. And it's all to do with perturbations in the jet stream as we go through into the start of next week. We'll look at this from Saturday and so we've got this trough in the jet stream. That's responsible for the cold airflow and the showery conditions. But upstream, a big ridge in the jet stream for Saturday. 
doesn't quite affect us that much because what happens is this other branch of the jet stream just slices across it, cuts off that ridge, and we end up with once again a south shifted jet stream for the start of next week, sending once again south shifted low pressure, which once again brings us more rainfall for the start of next week. Some uncertainty about the timings of the rain moving in later Sunday and into Monday, but well, there's a high degree of confidence that on Monday and in fact into Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to have low pressure pretty much over the UK, bringing us spells of rain and showers, especially across western and southern parts of the country. So these are the most likely weather patterns for Tuesday and Wednesday. A Tuesday sees low pressure centred over the UK. This is from the European model. There's the UK. And that low, as you can see by the bright colours, bringing plenty of rain or showers. And temperatures are a little below average for the time of year. Likewise, for Wednesday, the initial low moves away, but the next low hot on its heels, moving in from the northwest to bring more spells of rain and showers, especially across western parts. Not good news, of course, for many people who are fed up with the relentless rainy weather. And I'm afraid to say that this is how things look for later next week. Yet again, low pressure in charge, a high degree of confidence that low pressure will be close to the UK for much of next week. A little bit of uncertainty by the latter half of next week about the position of the low, whether it will be to the northwest or more towards the southwest. But either way, it's likely to be unsettled with winds coming from the southwest perhaps increasing the temperatures gradually through next week, but keeping things unsettled with the wettest weather in the west and the southwest, perhaps drier at times to the north and northeast. And yeah, in between the bands of rain and showers, there will always be some drier interludes, some March sunshine, which is strengthening and is going to feel a little more pleasant than uh, what we've experienced throughout much of winter. But nevertheless, no sign of any prolonged settle spell through to the start of the Easter weekend. And this just illustrates those trends. This is for a central part of the UK. We've got the rainfall trend on the top. And as you can see, for each day going out to the next two weeks, a lot of rainfall expected each day, either in the form of rain, longer spells of rain or showers. And the wind direction, this is interesting, switches from most likely westerly winds. That's what this is showing for Friday and Saturday more towards south or southwesterly winds for later next week. And that has an impact on temperatures. This is the temperature trend, the average maximum temperature shown in red, the average minimum temperature shown in blue, and the boxes show the likely range on each day. And as you can see, it's most likely to be just a, a bit below average for the weekend and at the start of next week before perhaps a slight increase towards the end of the week and into the Easter weekend to above average. Although if you've got spells of rain and showers, the temperatures are fairly academic. It's not going to feel particularly warm. So after all that soggy news, uh, I just want to end with something perhaps a little more optimistic. And this shows the most likely weather patterns for each day out to the next two weeks. Now, don't worry too much about the details here. Just think of it as blue colours indicate that low pressure is close to the UK. Red and oranges indicate that higher pressure is closer to the UK. And you can see through the Easter weekend, just some indication there of the blues getting smaller and the reds getting bigger. But a lot of uncertainty by this stage in terms of which exact weather patterns are going to be in control of our weather. It's just a hint there that things may begin to settle down through the Easter weekend. And the most likely place for that more settled weather would be towards the north of the country because these red colours are indicative of a Scandinavian high pressure or high pressure centred to the north of the country. So perhaps the south keeping the more unsettled, changeable, showery weather for longer through the weekend of Easter, the north perhaps settling down a little sooner. But of course it's a long way off and we'll keep you updated right here on all the spring weather to come right here at the Met Office. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll never miss an update. Bye-bye.